Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this heat foam charger right here. As you can see, it works off of any sort of heat. I just fill it up with uh, some paper and some wooden popsicle sticks and stuff like that. And then afterwards, I add some WD-40 just so it lights a little quicker and um, it produces electricity. It uses these Peltier elements and um, Basically they work off of a temperature difference, they generate electricity. So I just keep one side hot, which is the side where there's a flame, and the other side is kept cooler, and I have heat sinks on the other side, and it generates electricity and can charge your phone or other devices. Um, and as you can see in the next clip that's going to come up, I uh, changed it up a little. This new version here charges a little quicker, and it's because of this aluminum foil shield I have, which just kind of deflects the heat away from the side that's supposed to stay cool so the heat doesn't radiate and heat that side up. And as you can see it charges the phone. Um, this version here was a little more uh, consistent and charged a little quicker. So to start off the build, I start off with some copper tube, a beer can, and these Peltier elements here. Now first I'll line the Peltier elements up and then figure out how much width they're going to take and then mark a spot on each side of it. That's where I'll drill my holes. We can't drill them through the Peltier elements, so we mark it around. And then around the bottom we mark a few holes where that we're going to drill for air holes. Now we're going to mark these same holes on our brass tubes and do that to all our co sorry, copper tubes and do that to all the copper tubes. Now for every single copper tube we had there we're going to squish them. We need about five or six and I squish them in the vise and we want to flatten them out so I hammer them flat afterwards. And we have about five or six of them. Uh, the more the better. The more you have, the cooler your cold side will be. These are used as heat sinks. So we flatten it out, and then we're going to drill a hole on each side. And you're actually going to have to drill one close to the middle. Um, you'll see later where it is as well. And we're going to mark that off and then drill the same holes in our can. And again for the can, we're going to have to drill one closer to the middle later, but you'll see that later in the video where it's located. I'm going to cut the top of, off of the can, this will be just so we can put our fuel inside of it, Be fuel being the sticks and whatnot. And I also drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom as you can see just to let air into it. Now I got a piece of tin foil, folded it over a few times, that's going to be the heat shield just so the heat deflects away from the uh, cool side. And I stuck a bolt through the... Um, bottom of the can and I just put the nut on top of the bolt just so it doesn't fall back through and I'll get in the habit of doing that because I found that they fell back through very often because of gravity. Now I attached the first heat sink which is the flattened out copper uh, tube and on top of it I'm just going to drop down some washers and these washers will just create some space between each heat sink so air can flow through. And again, I attach washers, put the next one on. So each plate is separated by washers and then We'll put two more on, but I'm not going to show you because it's the exact same thing. So once we put all of them on, we have about five, you can do six if you want. We bolt that down. Now I just cut out a small piece of can or whatever and uh, cut it into a shape so that it will prop the can up. Because the can will want to fall backwards because of the weight of our heat sinks. Now I stuck one Peltier element in already. And now I'm going to stick the other two in. The Peltier elements are wired together in series. And I push them through. Now the Peltier elements are going to be jammed between the tin foil and our heat sinks. 
And the reason why it's up against the tin foil is so it gets the heat from the can and the heat sink so it cools. Now I'm just going to show you how I wired them before. Uh, just wire them in series as you can see like that, positive to negative. And then I grab a charging cord from say my phone. Once you snip the charging cord, you uh, pull back the rubber and you'll find four wires. You're going to grab the red and black ones. Those are going to be your power. Now the red, you're going to attach to the red of your um, Pelty elements and the black you're going to attach to the black side of your Pelty elements. And as you can see, that's what it looks like right there. Now, just as a farther out view, you can see what we have here. This is what our final product looks like. So it's a fairly quick build as you can see. And there we have it, the uh, part that attaches to your phone connected to the Peltier elements. And the Peltier elements there are all wired in series. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one. To see my other projects and buy parts you might need, you can check out my channel or my website joshbuilds.com. You can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content. Thanks.